Good morning, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on a world famous Mosquito Lagoon in Indian River, just east of Orlando, Kissimmee and Disney and New Smyrna Beach, Cocoa Beach, Daytona Beach. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what to bring on a fishing charter with me and what not to bring. And this can apply pretty much to, I would say, every Central Florida fishing guide here on the backcountry flats and inshore. And some of it's going to apply to all over the world. Uh, but typically this is my video for me. Um, I would think that other my colleagues and, and fellow guides and other guides in certain areas will say, I agree with that, I agree with that. So I'm, there's going to be a couple details that aren't. So th th use this as a general map. And if you got any questions, you can always ask your guide that. Um, first couple things is why don't we do this. Let's go over what not to bring, because that list is going to be pretty simple and quick here. The first thing that you don't want to bring is glass. Don't bring any glass containers whatsoever. Um, in any boat on earth, I would think, um, maybe a cruise ship, uh, glass breaks, glass cuts, glass makes you bleed, so um, just avoid glass. As far as alcohol, personally, I don't care if you bring a few beers, just bring cans or or plastic or something, um, you know, I, I don't mind a little bit of a, a couple beers or whatever, a six pack or whatever, just be responsible with that because you do realize that when you get back you have to drive home, you know, unless somebody's picking you up or whatever, so case by case story or uh, incident there. Shoes, no dark colored shoes, they mark the boat, they scuff the boat, ask your guy what kind of shoes to wear, I typically go barefoot in the summer, wear flip flops. Um, so just, you know, make sure your shoes do not scuff the white, you know, fiberglass of a boat. So no dark colored shoes, old myth, <laughs> a lot of us, you know, superstitious. I'm not superstitious, but I figure why risk it? <laughs> I eat a banana every day. Good for you, a lot of potassium. Um, no bananas in a boat. Uh, I think it goes back to an old Hawaiian myth of um, just bad luck. They put bananas in the boat. They go out to sea for days. By the time they got to the destination, the bananas would be rotten and they'd wind up dying because their food was gone. So, no bananas. And one of the big things here is, personally on my charters, I supply plenty of bottled water. You'll have plenty of water to drink. It's bottled, fresh, not opened. So if you're good with drinking water, don't worry about bringing drinks. It's the cooler. We get people show up all the time with these coolers with wheels on them, and we call them Meals on Wheels. Pack light, we're out there four, five, six hours, eight hours on occasion. I personally have a Yeti cooler on board plenty of ice, room in it. If you bring something, throw it in my cooler. Space is limited on these boats. When you have a boat that floats in five, six inches of water and you're catching fish in the depth of that cooler, weight's a factor, just space moving around the boat and all that kind of stuff. So a cooler like this is fine because you can just put it aside. It's enough to put a few drinks in, a couple sandwiches, so on and so forth. So you're good to go there. It's a small cooler. Okay. So that's basically on what not to bring. Let's go over a few of the key things, what to bring, important wise, some of the main things. Bring a camera if you want. If not, personally, I do photography professionally on the side, videography. I have a lot of nice camera equipment and I use equipment there that to get your picture and all that, so I can always email you that. So if you're going out with me personally and you don't want to bring cameras and all that, that's fine. Cell phones have cameras on it nowadays, iPhones, Androids, whatever. But also bring a cell phone for communication. You never know the day you get up to go, you get a flat tire, I have an accident. We want to be able to communicate back each forth to each other. So just go over that, the, the, you know, a couple days prior. And while we're going on that subject, directions. When I send directions to a client, I want you to read the directions and not just enter the address because there's certain details in those directions that are important. For like me, I take my boat from where I live and go to a location to pick you up. I don't drive my truck to that location to launch. And I've had people say, Cat, we're up in the parking lot waiting for you to drive in to launch your boat. And I say, well, if you read my directions, it clearly says meet me on the water down at the dock in my boat. So go over the directions of your guide, the map that you're going to, the area that you're going to, even some of the areas out here we don't have addresses. So a GPS isn't always good. Um, I have a pretty good thorough direction packet. And I like it to go over 24, 48 hours prior. Uh, don't, you know, you don't want to call your guide at 10 o'clock at night. You get back from the theme park for late at dinner because we're going to be in bed. We get up at 2, 3 in the morning, so we'll be in bed. Uh, so direction, cell phone. Uh, let's see, went over no glass containers, uh, beer spawn, bottled water, pack light for food, snacks, just something like boat food. You know, sandwich, just to get you through the morning. When you leave there, personally, when you leave here, there's plenty of places you can stop and eat. Um, sunscreen. 
bring some sunscreen. I suggest like a 70, 80, 100 SPF. Uh, you know, buy, buy a good brand, you know, because it'll save your life. Now, one thing I'm going to show you here with sunscreen also, I had on one of my YouTube videos, somebody had asked me, what's the mask we're wearing? And I guess if you're not used to that, it's it's a sun protection. And what it's called is buff wear. And I'll just show you. You put it on, and uh, you always see people wearing it. And, you know, what it is, is it's, sun, it's sunscreen, basically. It protects my ears, my face, my, uh, my lips and everything. Now, granted, sometimes I do bring, you know, lip balm, SPF 15, 20, whatever. So it's sunscreen. Um, it will help you out there. It's called Buffwear, B-U-F-F-W-E-A-R. Bass Pro Shops, all the little places to have it. If you're into watching birds and all that, you know, wildlife, bring a small pair of binoculars. And the next important thing that I cannot go over this with you enough is out here when we sight fish and flats fish, the water's shallow, we're looking for these fish. Two important tools like building the house versus with a screwdriver and a hammer and a nail gun and a DeWalt drill are these. These will help improve your day. A hat. Without a hat, I get people, we get people show up without a hat and they're doing the no hat stare all day. And now they don't have two hands on that rod and reel to make that cast. Something, if you don't want to wear it, take it off every now and then. When you're fishing, you'll have it to use it. It, pre it uh, prevents the glare on the water, so on and so forth. And the next thing is a pair of polarized sunglasses. I personally use Costa Del Mar's best sunglasses for fishermen out there. They're meant for fishermen. They are excellent. Well worth the money. Uh, they'll last you forever. Great product. Uh, Amber, copper, or brown. Amber or copper or brown, no gray. And what that does, let's see if I can do this here. The amber just cuts back on the glare a lot better than gray does in nanometers. And if you talk to an optometrist, the way glare works on the water. Uh, for sight fishing, amber is low light. Copper is pretty much your best bet overall. Uh, if you can't, don't want to spend the money on those, go buy you a cheap pair. But, you know, if you get those, they're going to last you a long time. Then one of the last things, you know, if you have your, if you have a special lure you want to try or something, you know, just ask the captain. Most of us don't care if you bring a little bit of tackle with you. You know, don't be bringing this big tackle box or go over with it because, you know, space is limited. You know, it's per individual guide. He'll be able to tell you that. You know, if you got your own little special rod and reel you want to use, you know, I personally don't care if you bring that. Uh, that's just one less a piece of tackle I gotta clean. So, um, other than that, uh, there is one other important thing that's key out here. When a captain or a guide tells you, "Listen, we need to be at that ramp in the boat at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or whatever, 7 a.m.," he does that for a reason. Out here, if I tell you, "Hey, listen, I want you at that ramp. I want to be in the boat going to our destination at 7 o'clock." Don't show up at 7.10, 7.15, because what will happen is we'll get to these spots, and I'll look out there and see three anglers on world record fish, and, I'll, and some of us will look at you and say, man, we're late. Those people are catching our fish. We can't go in there on top of them. Because a big etiquette thing. You want to stay thousands of feet away from other boats, because we cover areas out here. There's no depth, so be on, you know, the main thing is time. Just go over your guide with what time. Um, I'd rather you leave early and get here early than be a few minutes late. You know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime trip for you. It's supposed to be fun and enjoyable. It makes the day go easier, so piece of cake, no problems. Just, you know, go over that kind of stuff. You want to bring a towel or something. Most of us keep towels on board. The only other thing that you're going to want to do is just, you know, call your guide a few days before. Ask him any question that you may have. So, that's what they're there for. Other than that, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, and I want to wish everybody a great day. Thank you.